This is my MacBook Pro 13 inch non-touch bar model and I've been using it for a while now. So is the MacBook Pro 2017 worth it in 2019? That is coming up right now. Hey what's up everyone welcome back to Tech Trends. If this is your first time here, I make tech news and tech related videos just like this one. If you are into this type of things, then consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon, so you won't miss any future videos. So I bought this MacBook Pro few months ago. You can check out the unboxing video by clicking the card. So the MacBook Pro I have here is a base model with a Core i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. So let's talk about the design first. This MacBook has exactly the same design as the latest MacBook. And boy, it looks gorgeous. It's amazing how Apple was able to keep this laptop so thin and light. And it feels premium like all the other Apple products. The trackpad on this thing is huge. It's a force click trackpad and one of the best in the market and I absolutely love it. Also the speaker sounds amazing. Definitely these are the best sounding speakers I've heard in any laptop. And design wise, the speaker have perfect cutout right beside the keyboard. Speaking of keyboard, one of the major issue of this MacBook is the keyboard. The keys have very short travel and dust can stuck under the keys and that can cause the keys to not respond. It happened to me a couple of times and it's annoying to type when the keys stuck. So if you wanna buy this laptop for typing, that wouldn't be a great idea. Next up, the display. This is a 2560 by 1600 Retina display and I love the 16 by 10 aspect ratio. It looks really good. This display can go really bright up to 500 nits. The color reproduction is extremely good in this display. And I like the black bezels around it. When it comes to the I.O. The 2017 13-inch MacBook Pro has only two Thunderbolt 3 ports and a headphone jack. That means you have to use dongle for everything. But that doesn't really bother me so much. Now the performance. The performance on this MacBook Pro is great. It is more than enough for everyday tasks like web browsing, watching Netflix, multitasking and things like that. But since it's an entry level device, it's a little slower than the higher level ones. It is also a little slower than my PC which has an i5-8400 paired with the GTX 1070 Ti. When it comes to work heavy tasks like editing 4K videos on apps like Premiere Pro, After Effects and things like that but it's more than good enough for 1080p editing. Now the battery. The battery life of this MacBook Pro is really good. It easily gets me through a day while using it for web browsing and doing basic day-to-day -day things. And it lasts around 4-5 to five hours when I'm editing videos and stuff. The things I like about this laptop is how powerful it is while being so portable. The display is just beautiful. Design feels premium and battery life is pretty good. Overall, I think the MacBook Pro is worth it in 2019. What do you think? Is it worth it or not? Let me know in the comment down below. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel for more tech contents, have a great day and peace.